On the 18th of November in 2016, I revealed in Parliament that there is a terrorist organization amongst us. They comprise of members from four prominent Muslim families. People like Mangala Samaravira criticize me, saying that I am trying to spread radicalism in the country. Parliamentarians who made such statements should be held accountable for the deaths that took place on Sunday's attack. When Puji Jayasundra's name was nominated for IGP, I told them that he is someone who is good to be appointed as chairman of the film corporation because he should do what he is talented in. There is a secretary of defense who was a commodore in the Navy, who then later went on to sell paint and engage in other dealings with the Navy. What knowledge and experience does this secretary of defense possess? The president should be ashamed of appointing such an individual. There are 44 intelligence personnel who are in prison. How can the country function like this? When the prime minister says that he was unaware of the attacks, Harin Fernando says that he knew of it. Mano Ganeshan said he knew about the attacks a week earlier. If they knew about this, what action was taken? Couldn't they have passed a message to the cardinal over the phone? Statues of Lord Buddha were destroyed in Marmanella and 100 kilograms of C4 explosives was discovered in Vanathavillua by intelligence units. There was also a training camp. Even a common man knows that this amount of explosives is enough to destroy the entire city of Colombo. Who are the leaders of this extremist group with? They are close to Muslim politicians. Then isn't this country important to them? Is it only their sect that is important? I'm not at all satisfied. The Minister of Defence has a responsibility that suitable people are appointed to head various units when it comes to the security of this country. When the Minister of Defence is not in the country, a secretary who is able to look over the operations should be appointed. There is no point having a scarecrow or the blind. He should have brains and the right attitude. <laughs> I'm thankful to Kabir Hashim for exposing this without fear. According to information that I received, Asad Sali had a role to play here. He suddenly became powerful and he was appointed the governor of the Western province by the president. During a debate in parliament, even his bullet said that now he is governor, children will take up weapons. No one questioned him. Now there is proof that this happened.